The Flea by John Donne. Mark but this flea, and mark in this, how little that which thou denyest me is. It sucked me first, and now sucks thee, and in this flea our two bloods mingled be. Thou knowest that this cannot be said, a sin, nor shame, nor loss of maidenhead. Yet this enjoys before it woo, and pampered swells with one blood made of two, and this, alas, is more than we would do. O oh, stay, three lives in one flea, spare, where we almost, yea, more than married are, this flea is you and I, and this our marriage bed and marriage temple is. Though parents grudge, and you, we are met, and cloistered in these living walls of jet, though youth make you apt to kill me, let not to that self-murder added be, and sacrilege, three sins in killing three. Cruel and sudden hast thou since purpled thy nail in blood of innocence? Wherein could this flea guilty be, except in that drop which it sucked from thee? Yet thou triumphst, and sayst that thou find'st not thyself, nor me the weaker now. Tis true, then learn how false fears be, just so much honour when thou yield'st to me, will waste as this flea's death took life from thee. Welcome. It's good to have you here, Mr. Fleet. Thank you. All right, let's start with the first question. Mr. Fleet, how was it to have a poem written about you? Well, the flea isn't exactly about me. It's more about a man wanting to get in his girlfriend's pants. I'm just the medium for his sleazy comments. He compares me to sucking both their bloods for nutrients to him and her having sex. They're nothing alike. What I'm doing is for my substance, whereas what he's doing is just for his pleasure. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's an interesting pers perspective on the situation. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes, I would actually. I was in the room the whole time, and I was just wanting to puke. He talked to the beloved like she didn't understand basic biology. The basic understanding of life and female virginities is that the man and woman's blood mix. She understood this the whole time, and he was trying to woo her. I landed on her shoulder a couple times and heard her mumble how little she cared about we, what he had to say. She obviously was tired of his constant attempts to win her over with cheesy poems and bad sex innuendos. <clears throat> it's obvious that you don't like the man very much. No, sir, I don't. I don't think he really loves her. I think it's just a lust-driven attraction and not love-driven. He's belittling her maidenhead, basically saying her virginity is worth as much as a flea bite. I should have bitten him and another man and seen if he wrote a similar poem about sleeping with a man. Let's get on a less controversial topic. How did you get implemented into the situation? Let's see. I was just born a couple weeks ago, and I've been growing since then. And about a day ago, I saw this nice little girl sitting on a bench, thinking about who knows what. And this scummy boy comes up and starts bothering her. So I flew up trying to make a distraction, and he swatted at me. So I stung him on the neck and her on the nose. Why those locations? Um, honestly, those were just the closest places that I could find to bite and draw blood. Is there any way that the man, the, that the man should deserve his beloved? No way. He's a disgrace of a person that I wish I would have never gotten involved with. He is nothing productive with his life. He spent way too long worrying about something that he's never going to get. The hour I had in his presence was more than anyone should have to deal with in a lifetime. Well, thank you. You brought some great insight into this poem and to the behind the scenes of their thoughts.